Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at cloud architecture terminology. So these are very important concepts when uh, utilizing the cloud, uh, though Google will not ask you directly on their certification uh, to describe these concepts or to, to, to pick them out of a lineup of terms, okay? Um, however, they are still gonna play into questions, so we generally need to know what these things are. So uh, let's go through the quick list here, and then we'll do a, a bit of a deeper dive on each of these ones, okay? So first we have availability, your ability to ensure a service remains available. This is known as highly available, HA. You have scalability, your ability to rapidly grow uh, unimpeded. You have elasticity, your ability to shrink and grow to meet the demand. And this has to do with the automation of it. You have fault tolerance, your ability to prevent a failure. You have disaster recovery, your ability to recover from a failure, failure also known as being highly durable, so DR. So looking first in more detail here, high availability. This is your ability for your service to remain available by ensuring there is no single point of failure or to ensure a certain level of performance. So I got a bunch of text here, but I have a graphic that makes this really clear. The idea here is that we have a load balancer and, and for Google's it's called Google uh, Cloud Load Balancing. And the idea is that we have compute and we distribute it. Um, so it's separate virtual machines, but they are in three uh, 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 different zones. And the idea is that if you were to lose one or two zones, you would still have a running uh, service because the load balancer would detect that these ones are unhealthy and reroute the traffic to the remaining server, okay? And that helps us be, uh, be highly available. Then you have the idea of being uh, highly scalable. So your ability to increase your capacity based on the increasing demand of traffic, memory, and computing power, okay? So you have vertical scaling. This is where you are scaling up. You are increasing the uh, size of the single machine, right? So maybe you are increasing the amount of storage, the amount of compute, things like that, resizing the machine. Then you have horizontal scaling. So you're, you're just adding additional servers of the same size, and then you're distributing the workload across those machines, okay? You have high elasticity, so your ability to automatically increase or decrease your capacity based on the current demands of traffic, memory, and computing power sounds very similar to the last slide, but the key difference is that it's automated and you also have the ability to decrease, okay? So the idea here is that uh, you have the concept of horizontal scaling where you can scale out, but you can also scale in. So scaling out is when you add more servers and scaling in is when you remove servers, okay? And generally, generally speaking, when we're doing uh, 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 things that are elastic, it's usually of the same size. There is an exception where you can have containers uh, I think it's like Mesos or whatever. They allow you to have a uh, mix and match of different kind of containers, but generally it's the same size containers, okay? Or virtual machines, I should say. So uh, vertical scaling is generally hard for traditional architecture. So you're not going to see the concept of elasticity with vertical scaling. It's with horizontal scaling, okay? The way we can do um, um, horizontal scaling or elastic uh, automatic scaling is with managed instance groups with uh, Google. So this is automatically increasing or decreasing the response uh, uh, to a demand or a defined schedule. Next, we have fault tolerance. So your ability to uh, for your service to ensure there is no single point of failure or preventing the chance of failure. So I'm just gonna lay out all this stuff here. And so it sounds very similar to high availability, but the idea is that it's all about preventing chance of failure. So the idea is that um, imagine, or I guess it's kind of the response of failure. So the idea here is that uh, let's imagine you have a database and the primary database for whatever reason fails. Okay, um, and so the idea is that uh, your cloud DNS, which is at the, like your domain level, what it can do is say, okay, fail over to the secondary instance. So you have a, a redundant application running, you're syncing that data over, it's a standby service. The idea is that it's ready to take over when the first one fails, okay? So whether something happens, we can fault over to it. I know it gets confusing with high availability. We have high durability, your ability to recover from a disaster and to prevent the loss of data. So solutions that recover from a disaster is known as disaster recovery. How do you back up your data? How fast can you restore that backup? Does your backup still work? How do you ensure uh, your current live data is not corrupt? So there you go, that is uh, our terminologies, okay?